Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, or I should say good morning. <laughs> well, let's check the time for a second right there. How's everyone doing this morning? So, yeah, back to where we started. Here we go with the YouTube channel gaming. And this is a sequel to the 2015 video I made back in my original gaming channel before it got terminated uh, by copyright claims, obviously. So, to Steam Powered number two, the title of this video, right? What am I saying about Steam Powered? And I think this should be a a big question to all Steam users who are very well aware of my activity there on Steam, whether publicly or not. And um, yeah, this is going to be interesting to know about this. So why is it that after all these years, Steam has improving, they're innovating, they add NFTs. I'm hearing and so like that rumor has it, whatever. Um, but the libraries of all the games each and every user have of that site. What will happen to Steam if it got bankrupt or uh, somehow, some way, lost records or lost its uh, revenue from hacking and stuff like that and things that matter? One leads to another thing, like the, it's out of business, like just straight out of business. What will happen to our gaming content once until it's on the Steam client or will it be on part of our computer altogether? As long as you don't delete the, the, the files, delete the, uh, the game itself. Perhaps even the program, if it's still around, as long as you don't delete the program either, you should still be fine with the matter at hand with Steam games. But there will come that one day and later in the future, guys, that one thing leads to another, someone's going to owe something to someone about the the deals with these uh, third parties, things that matter. And the economy is not is not what you think you know, it is right now, right this second. To, to my awareness, that is, in my opinion, also to based on fact and information, is what my analysis of the matter affected him. So I'm thinking to myself, Steam, if anyone in Steam and staff, or at least in the managerial, who oversees their servers, stuff like that, what, how are you going to uh, pay back or refund or even try to maintain and preserve people's games on their computers through your client Steam? And I think it's a good idea to keep that in mind, you know. For future reference, you know, I understand that it's a little bit jumping the gun, because Steam is doing very well. I'm not sure if it's actual sales, but it's in the billions, I bet. I'm the one who bought the Tomb Raider collection, as you see my library of things. I also bought the Hitler game that was very raunchy to, to, to the public, and I can't really record that on YouTube. But one day, I will find a way to maintain uh, a connection to my uh, desktop PC, as well as the internet to record and stuff. Not live, but recorded at least. I could do that on my computer most likely still through the Xbox feature or whatever, but that's like limited, only up to five minutes, if I recall correctly. It's like they were the Xbox itself. And I'll have limited hard drive space on my computer as well, so I can't do much right now. It's up to you guys if you want to donate, uh, which you can see my Amazon wish list on my About page on the YouTube channel. Please feel free to uh, donate if you can't donate. Just share my videos, thumbs up, like, share, do all that stuff. So to Steam again, uh, I thank you for putting these sales out there for many months of what to buy, when to buy it, uh, what's a good day to buy it. Like Black Friday comes around, Christmas comes around, uh, Easter, summer, hell, even Memorial Day. <laughs> Honor of us falling so do something like with the Call of Duty uh, well, I'm not sure if Call of Duty Vanguard, but Call of Duty games like the Call of Duty original, the first or, first Call of Duty game. That would be nice to see on sale for about, what, $10 on Steam? And it's control supported, like with the Xbox and all. That would be great. Something like this on the controller with my, on PC. That's what I love to do. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Donate if you can. Everything's down below in the description box. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Have a nice day. Bye.